No, no, no. We have a moon. We have a moon. We have a moon. <laughs> but we also we have, have dragons. Oh, I know, but the dragons aren't going anywhere. We can have both. <laughs> the dragons well, okay, so I've put the moon on. So James McGee, thank you, is bringing us... I uh, can't hear you, but we can see uh, what you're screen sharing. So we are looking at I, live views of the moon. Um, maybe if we can get audio, you can let us know what type of equipment you're using, what telescope. Or if you chat it to us, we'll read it. Yes, if you chat it to us in the private chat in here, uh, in this Hangout, we can read that out. Um, but we are looking at a live view of the limb of the moon. Uh, and a bit later, I think we're gonna actually gonna have a real virtual star party. Um, real virtual. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have instead of the virtual star party being on Sunday night, it'll be tonight. And so Fraser Kane will bring in a host of astronomers with their telescope views. Look at that! Oh, I want to go mark the craters, but it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make the circles on the screen. <laughs> and our severe thunderstorm warning has expired, although we can still expect heavy rain. Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> uh, so thank you, James. We're getting some real live astronomy uh, looking at the moon right now. So yay! That, that is, taking, that is um, filling in for the astrophotography segment that we can't do because it's raining. And right now what we're looking at is a crescent moon. So that means that the sun is actually falling fairly directly on the edge of the moon right now, which is why you don't see a lot of shadows. So toward the edge, you have the sun falling, falling uh, fairly perpendicular to the, to the surface. Um, it's only when the sun is on the edge of the horizon that you get these nice dark shadows. So as he moves closer and closer to the terminator, you start to see more and more shadows. And when we're doing crater counts, we want those shadows. If you're looking for albedo differences, this is differences in the soil colors. You look for those when the sun is straight overhead and there's no shadows. When you're looking for craters, you look along where the sun is down towards the horizon, which is more like what we're seeing right here. Um, what's kind of awesome is this intermediate range that we're looking at where the sun is part way up in the sky. You can still see the variations in color. You can still see the dark lava fields. You can still see though the craters with their deeply shadowed edges. Um, so this, this, is, this is science. Um, but it's amazing to think how far we've come. 400 years ago, Galileo first looked at the moon 404 years ago um, and was able to make out that it had a textured surface with craters and mountains. Um, in the years since then, we've gotten to the point that we now have spacecraft orbiting the moon that are taking images that at their highest resolutions are roughly a third of a meter per pixel. That's about this much per pixel. Um, that's kind of awesome when you think about what we have for satellite imagery of the Earth. Well, you were saying if, if your, your, your rather tall husband laid down on the surface of the moon... Yeah. Uh, the lunar reconnaissance orbit, would, which you show up as a few pixels in the lunar reconnaissance orbit of pictures that we have on, on moon mappers. Um, so uh, we have, um, oh, we have somebody who joined and asked what the show is about. All the science and astronomy. Go to CosmoQuest.org to see what this is about. You've stepped into a 32-hour long hangout-a-thon. So welcome. You don't have to stay for the whole thing. We're the only ones who have to do that. Um, Doc Coleman's asking, where is the merch? Astrogear.org. Oh. A S T R O G E A R dot O R G. Uh, t shirts um, ranging from small women's to triple XL men's. Uh, so we can span the whole gamut of sizes. Not every shirt is available in every size. Um, yeah. You mean the women's shirts order like a size or two above what you normally do. They can yeah. be kind of small. They're really cool, but just just order up. Don't don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, if you have a child, they are small. Um, Courtney, who is a size zero, don't hate her. She's awesome. Yeah, she's a size zero. Um, she wears a medium in these shirts. Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, we have a request of. Uh, if we can set up um, weekly and monthly options for automatic donation for CosmoQuest the way you do with Astrosphere, I don't know if it so. The works the problem that way. is um, the yes, I will work with the university to try and do that. Um, ours is just one of the many many PayPal accounts our university manages, and um, state of Illinois is not well funded right now, Oof. and uh, so our university is really struggling and. Um, 
the staff is all overworked. So I will work with the poor, overworked, awesome souls to see if I can set up subscription options. If you can send me email, starstrider at gmail.com, that you want subscription office options, um, that will make it easier for me to convince the foundation to help us set up those options. Um, it's not worth the time of an overly busy person to set up all the PayPal options if no one's ever going to donate. Uh, so if we can show them you're going to donate, we can get those options created, I think. Cool. Cool. Hello, everyone. Hi, you have audio. Yay. Sorry about that. Whenever uh, you uh, sent me an invitation, uh, my computer completely crashed. Oh. Uh, and then it tried to uh, install a new driver in my webcam that I use for doing this. Uh, so it was like, I know you're about to do this. Let's just ruin everything. Oh. <laughs> That's why my laptop is not hosting this Hangout right now. <laughs> I hear you. So can you tell us a little bit about what telescope you're using? Using a, uh, a stock Nexstar uh, Celestron 6-inch uh, uh, smith Cassegrain telescope. Awesome, awesome. I, I love Celestron, so yay. I haven't made myself, but I used to sell Celestron telescopes in high school when I worked in the mall at a science-y type store that's now out of business. <laughs> So, awesome, awesome. We love, we love it. Thank you for bringing us the moon. Yeah, I figured you guys needed a break. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the uh, weather ruining our astrophotography plans uh, was was sad. So. <laughs> yeah, I've, it's been uh, pretty horrible here. I'm in uh, Huntsville, Alabama, and oh. uh, and I just uh, was able to start. Uh, I've been doing live streaming every night uh, that I could uh, this week. And doing Saturn and the Moon, I can do Saturn if you'd prefer that. We I would think love it's, to uh, see it if yeah. you can get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would take a little while to 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 set up since my mount doesn't track very uh, very sure. efficiently. Sure, sure. But uh, I could definitely set that up. Just give me a few seconds here. Sure. And uh, you can definitely uh, talk to Fraser Kane of the Virtual Star Party because they do this every Sunday night. Uh, and they're always looking for more astronomers, especially on the East Coast, because there's a lot of West Coast guys. We need more East Coast guys. And and I just got instructions on how to set up Bitcoin. I'm going to go find my laptop so I can do that. Oh, sweet. Awesome. So uh, we're going to work on things in real time as you ask for them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Ken and guys asking where are the pictures of the moon coming from. This is from Huntsville, Alabama, and James McGee. Thank you. Using a... Um, a six inch Celestron. Uh, so cool beans to that. Um, and you got a way to go from Paul Stewart, who's one of our, our uh, VSP regulars. <laughs> so yay. Uh, and you're going to work on getting Saturn for us. Um, I was just at the American Astronomical Society meeting in Indianapolis where they did a star party uh, at the conference itself, which was uh, a new thing. So we've, they've got all these astronomers that pop into a town twice a year. Uh, for a conference, why not do some outreach and cool stuff? Um, and so they've been doing more outreach initiatives, and also uh, they did a star party, and we thought, you know, what? Star party from downtown Indianapolis? It was amazing uh, because we got to see Saturn, and we got to look at Saturn and show people Saturn, uh, especially a lot of high school kids were coming out of their graduations uh, that night from the convention center, and so we pulled them over and gave them some of them their first look at Saturn through a telescope, which is is just uh, an amazing thing. A lot of people see it for the first time and think that, you know, we're, we're tricking them, <laughs> put like a picture on, on the end. It, it looks like Saturn with rings like it should. Uh, and uh, that is really cool. So um, we did that in Indianapolis. That was the American Astronomical Society that put that little star party together. So it's a crowd pleaser and it is, uh, it's bright. So that is fantastic. Uh, Richard Drum's giving us an update on the donation. 9,660 in the donation box. Uh, we're trying, oh, we would love to get to 10,000 by 10 p.m. our time, which is in 10 minutes. Can you get us there? CosmoQuest.org slash donate. That will uh, get you there. And uh, Pam was going to set up the Bitcoin as well. So uh, I know Fraser was trying to sell me on the Bitcoin idea last time we were together at uh, South by Southwest. I'm s I don't think I get it yet, but Kudos. <laughs> Kudos to that. Um, so sweet. Very cool. Uh, am I missing anything else? I'm trying to track the comments some semi-manually now since comment tracker went poo. Oh, Jeff Setzer wants to know um, what webcam are you using uh, oh, on that yeah. telescope? 
I don't know if James can hear us. And then uh, they still want to see the dragon pictures. So. <laughs> okay, let me show. We you. did promise you me and Pamela and Sigler and dragons that we found in Chinatown in San Francisco. So uh, Pamela's going to get that up for you as well. Little shop. Couldn't even tell you the name of it if, if I had to. Um, what you can't tell is she's like making up a story and narrating a voice as this is going on. <laughs> we were having way too much fun with a Godzilla, a three-headed uh, Cerberus a dragon, and then two other sea serpents. Uh, you know, they were kind of Trogdorish. I think they were Trogdorish. They, okay. Their arms weren't beefy enough, and they didn't have wing -a -lings. <laughs> <laughs> As close to Trogdor as you can get in that store. <laughs> And, and we I bought just went there. we we bought these as Christmas gifts, so I didn't share them publicly at the yeah. time. But I will now share this publicly. So if you go to my feed on Google Plus, um, you will see all the dragons, <laughs> dragons and Chinese Whoa, tie ties, and wrong computer. Me wearing Sigler's hat apparently because I like hats. I like stealing other people's hats. It's it's fun. I give them back though, so it's fine. Uh, so there's your there's your rope dragons <laughs> from that story. Um, so cool beans on that. Um, yeah. Oh oh, I see it. There it comes. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> there it is. There's your Saturn oh, people. Oh, awesome. So th those are the ears that Galileo saw through his telescope 404 years ago. Uh, he couldn't, didn't have quite the resolution that James has here. Couldn't quite figure out what was going on. It looked like Saturn had ears. And it was um, Cassini that figured out that they were rings or Huygens? I don't remember. One of the two. <laughs> I, I think it was, was Cassini. Okay. Um, but they, they eventually figured it out. And you can see the shadow of the rings on the left the left lower rings there, you can see the sh shadow of the planet itself on the rings, and you can even see ooh, the gap in the rings there. That's so cool. That is such a good image, James. It's bouncing around a bit, but it is really, really clear in those clear moments. So yeah. We have Saturn. You've just usurped the virtual star party. <laughs> <laughs> at the moon and Which Saturn. will be happening in an hour and fifteen in an hour and twenty five minutes. So you have completely usurped them. Good job, sir. <laughs> oh, there it is back again. Yay. And you can see the, the, the very faint cloud bands on Saturn as well. You can um, actually see one of the moons uh, right below it. Oh. Uh so it's surprisingly clear. It's uh, right uh here. Okay. I can't uh, see it on the hangout. Yeah, let me uh, turn up the brightness again here. Okay, it yeah, that might help. More apparent. No, it didn't really make much of a difference. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, getting compressed on the internet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As well. oh, there we go. So I'm going to try to get a little bit better zoom on it here. But yeah, it's surprisingly very stable tonight. Uh, you can actually see the separation of the uh, the disks there, uh, right there. Yep. there I, don't know. I don't know if that's coming through. Yep. Um, but let me see how far I can zoom in here without this thing going crazy. There we go. And voila. Love it. Oh, that's fantastic. And if I feel real gutsy, I can take out my 5X Barlow and try to do that live. <laughs> yeah, great Fraser Kane says, usurped. <laughs> <laughs> You usurped. <laughs> we didn't mean to, Fraser. Our plan had been to to talk about uh, how to use the T3i to do astro imaging because um, the attic windows are perfect for doing photography out because I can see above my neighbor's roofs. Um, but it's pouring, so <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I know the VSP astronomers will send us some amazing stuff. So we 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 are, we have high hopes. We have high hopes. Um, so, oh, the Life Genesis is asking, how much is a decent amateur telescope? Mine was a gift long ago, so I have, I have no idea what the pricing is these days. So, so you can get a good Dobsonian that isn't mechanized for a few hundred dollars, and that's a great place to start. I'd actually start with like a $70 pair, $70 pair of binoculars, 
once you know that you're going to be using the binoculars and you hunger to see more, invest in the Dobsonian telescope. And once you realize you want to start getting into astrophotography, and these are the normal steps of addiction for astronomy, uh, then you move on to something like what he's got here that will track the objects for you and allow some basic photography to be done. There you're starting to talk closer to $1,000. Uh, so yeah, personally, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Personally, I started out uh, just a year ago with a 4-inch uh, Tasco reflector, uh, and I just got that from a member of the Astronomy Club in uh, Mobile, Alabama, when I was living down there. That's always a great way to get a really cheap uh, telescope is the, the Astronomy Clubs, because they, they're looking for people uh, to get into the hobby. And then once you know that uh, you know, you're interested, uh, I moved into this 6-inch uh, uh, Celestron, which is only uh, $700. Um, you can pick up one used for around 500 um, if you're lucky. It really depends. Uh, I don't know why the image is vibrating. That is very strange. I may uh, have to check yeah. my cord and see if um, it's uh, vibrating. But uh, I, I always recommend to, to get involved with a local astronomy group. Uh, Richard Drum, who you've seen come, come and go throughout the, the, the cast, uh, was the president of the Charlottesville Astronomical Society for, for quite a while. Um, Get involved if you get involved with the local astronomy group. These guys and, and gals would love to share their equipment, let you look through their telescopes, so you can browse through all different telescopes at a star party and get a feel for what you might want to try. And then you've got the expert help to help you along um, with that community. So that is um, before you before you plunk down money. I'd say uh, get in touch with the local uh, astronomy group. Um, that's going to help you out a lot. Um, also, Michael correct, uh, has the answer on Saturn's rings. Huygens determined that Saturn had a ring, and he quotes, a solid ring, a thin, flat ring, nowhere touching, and inclined to the ecliptic, and uh, also discovered the moon Titan as well. So go Huygens. The uh, Huygens probe was named after him, and it was sent through Titan's atmosphere and uh, took some gorgeous images of the like water ice mountains on Titan. So... Pretty good stuff. So I'm getting messages that we're at 9660 with two minutes to go to 10 p.m. If everyone out there listening, we have, if everyone out there donates $4, we'll hit the 10,000 mark uh, at 10 p.m. Central. $4. One McDonald's meal. Less than that, actually. McDonald's costs a little over $5. Um, He's help. getting emails as welcome to my wallet. Yes. <laughs> I'm setting up Bitcoin. It's just funny because I get copied on them. And that's an interesting <laughs> title. <laughs> Whoa. Welcome to my wallet anytime. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, cosmoquest.org slash donate. That's the donate link if you're listening in. Um, and, you know, for that you get the universe. You get Saturn. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Cheapest way to get Saturn ever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cassini's great, but it was a few billion dollars. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, mm -mm. Oh, for what it's worth, the Canon T3Is are known as the 600D elsewhere in the world. So okay. That is something to note. <laughs> Thank you, Stuart Young, for that. Um... <laughs> What? No, I'm just giggling at the, the comments about how we're usurpers. Because, um, <laughs> you know, we have to start bringing in Game of Thrones tropes early. Oh, we haven't talked about the Cards Against Astronomy since the first hour. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sitting with Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, right, okay. So if you... I don't remember the... <laughs> It was Cards Against Astro. Cards Against Astro is the hashtag. Uh, so if you've ever played Cards Against Humanity, um, it is it is it is uh, a, a silly, fun, amazing game where you learn how truly horrible the people you <laughs> are friends with are. Uh, but we're looking to create a Cards Against Astronomy game. Uh, so if you can if you uh, can come up with the um, ideas for the black cards and the white cards, uh, so if you tweet it with uh, hashtag cards against Astro, let us know B or W, black or white, and uh, what you'd like to see on the card. Um, you can use cards against Astro or cards against astronomy hashtag on Google Plus. Uh, since you have more characters there, let us know there as well um, what you want your card to 
B. Um, so that uh, will help us out. Uh, so we're gonna we would like to collect all your cards against astronomy ideas, uh, similar to cards against humanity, and we're, that's the last hour of the show. Is we're gonna play that. We're gonna be completely sleep deprived, and we're gonna play a game that you create for us. So get to work. <laughs> if you're not, if uh, you're watching this and thinking up some creative astronomy ideas, um, I think you said there was a cards against humanity creator website that might help them out? Yeah, so if you Google Cards Against Humanity, they have PDFs that you can download that are blank cards, and you can also download all of the cards from the actual game entirely for free. So go check out what types of things they have, and then send us your ideas for black cards and white cards, and during the last hour of the show, um, we're looking to, we're going to have Stuart Foreman come on and do some solar observing. We're going to recap the craziness that, we've, that has transpired. And we will play Cards Against Astronomy. And I have Bitcoin set up. I'm now adding it to the donation site. Uh, so one moment, please. Yay. And this, I have to admit, because I don't have access to the university's finance, um, and I suspect they'd be confused by Bitcoin. Donations through Bitcoin will go to Astrosphere, but anything you donate to Astrosphere, I will buy consumables we need for our teacher training programs and donate them to the university. Excellent, excellent. Since uh, I'm doing the teacher training all next week, that makes me very happy. <laughs> Since uh, we promised consumable, like actual consumable consumables <laughs> of yeah. our, to our teachers. Um, yes, we teach you astronomy and we feed you. Uh, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. And in here, when I say consumables, I'm actually talking about like the postcards we're getting for the Earth or not Earth activity and things like that. Yeah, we have to get them food as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for donating. Uh, we have a question about merchandise be orders being denied. Uh, this is something I'm seeing in the comments here, and this is something I heard from Tim a little bit as well. I told him to tell you. There may be a site problem. I will go look at that. Okay, so there may be an Astro Gear site problem, so she will look at that. Um, but uh, thank you for donating anyway. So that's awesome. We will do science with your dime. <laughs> on your dime. <laughs> Both. Um, science on a dime. We need to do that. Science on a dime. Experiments you can do on the surface of dime. I don't have a microscope anymore. I need science. to get the microscope. I need to borrow a microscope. Uh, <laughs> so thank you for the continued donations. Um, that is going to help us do science and feed our programmers to make the site work and give you more science to do uh, and all of that good stuff. I know they've been programming their fingers off getting the new site launched yeah. uh, th for this weekend, and so you'll be hearing from them a little later. Uh, as, as Joe said, this will be the most awkward segment. <laughs> <laughs> they're not the most talkative dudes, but they're awesome, so we will have a good time. Um, it is a little after 10 p.m. What? What did we get? $9,699. Oh. We didn't quite make it, but I love the numbers. <laughs> um, so uh, we are getting close to the 10K mark. Thank you. Um, and as we said on our schedule, we would talk a little bit on this segment about a CosmoQuest related project, the Weekly Space Hangout. Uh, this is a project we do in conjunction with Universe Today. So Fraser Kane is the host of this weekly show. Uh, the Weekly Space Hangout involves uh, science journalists and people who pretend to be science journalists like, like I do. You are a journalist. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Science aficionados. Let's go with that. Um, and some, we have a rotating group uh, of uh, people who write about science uh, to talk about the astronomy and space stories of the week. So this happens on Google Hangouts every Friday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, it usually runs from either Fraser's uh, page or my page on Google+, Plus. plus we put it uh, hosted on CosmoQuest. And if you go to the YouTube page, YouTube uh, slash, dot com slash Astrosphere Vids, uh, I'm not going to spell that out. <laughs> just, search, just search CosmoQuest on YouTube. You'll get there. We have archived all the weekly Space Hangout shows going well over a year. Uh, we took a hiatus for a little while, but uh, Fraser came up with this idea right when Google Hangouts was fresh and new, uh, and we've been, uh, we've been keeping it going um, consistently since January of this year. Um, we have uh, good little debates and discussions about human spaceflight, where to spend our money on spaceflight. 
Um, we discuss, um, I love to bring all the bizarre astrophysics news, um, anything that's been seen with a radio telescope pretty much, <laughs> uh, anything with black holes. Um, we have uh, regulars such as Emily Lochtewalla of the Planetary Society. We have Ian O'Neill from Discovery, from Discovery News. Um, we have a bunch of the Universe Today writers, Nancy Atkinson, David Dickinson, who always comes with like four stories prepared. I love him so much for it. Uh, Matthew Francis, who we had on earlier. Uh, we have um, Amy Shira Title, who is probably the hardest working space journalist. I'm going to come out and say it. Uh, she's actually hosting this Friday. Uh, I will be doing the teacher professional development. Fraser's going to be uh, traveling to Google again, apparently. <laughs> He's got BFFs there. Hey. I don't know. So Fraser and I will be uh, out of commission on Friday. So Amy will be hosting for the first time. So come on in. Show your support. Um, again, this is at uh, noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern every Friday, the weekly space hangout. Um, and uh, I try, you know, the video uh, gets recorded and put up on, the, um, on our YouTube channels uh, pretty quickly. Uh, the audio goes into the 365 Days of Astronomy feed. Um, it uh, was going into Astronomy Cast for a while, but no longer. So those of you who've been emailing me looking for it, it is in the 365 Days of Astronomy feed now. People have been looking for it and asking for it. So okay. they're liking that that audio version that comes out. Um, you don't get to see us, you know, flail and arm wave and do all that like we do in the video. <laughs> but you still get your Space News fix and your Space News Roundup from the people who are uh, immersed in the science and or writing the stories. Uh, so that is um, a project that I'm really happy to be a part of. And I've been I've been kind of in charge of wrangling the cats for a while. Uh, yeah. that, that's We're been so grateful for your cat wrangling. I, I send out the, the nagging weekly emails to, to all of our space journalist friends saying, who's in? Come on, join us. Uh, what's your story? Uh, you know, through Google Docs and email and all that. Um, and Fraser hosts the show. So, uh, and I host when he's out of town. And uh, like I said, Amy's going to be hosting this week for the first time. Uh, she knows just about everything about space flight history. Uh, she'll be on tomorrow at yeah. I don't remember what time <laughs> uh, to talk about space history. Let me look that up really quickly. Oh, 10.15 a.m. Central Time. Uh, Amy Shiratidal will be talking about space history with us, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. She's a really awesome person, and she just moved to North Carolina, so oh. she just settled in her new place uh, and will be ready to, to host for us. Um, we have more comments coming in. Uh, pictures, uh, if you're watching on the, the main event page, Peter Lake is sharing pictures from oh, he's at Learning us. in the Laneway, yeah. Citizen Science, so he'll be joining us a bit later on for that. Yeah. Um, but he's sharing actual uh, pictures of the event going on right now. So thank you, Peter. And uh, if you go to cosmoquest.org slash donate and scroll to the bottom of the page, we can now take Bitcoin. Woohoo! Sweet. Uh, how were the Planet Pops, Jim is asking. I, I got some of the leftover cake, which is delicious. But uh... um, We will be having those after we have our Wang Gang's dinner. <laughs> um, and my husband, when I went downstairs to find my laptop, he had taken the leftover cake batter and mixed in the candy <laughs> that was melted and was making it look like it was painted like a planet. And it looked so much better than the cake pops I made. <laughs> so we'll see how it cooks. So yeah, this this has been just an amazing day so far, you guys. Um, we do this because you want us to, if that makes any sense. I mean, I don't mean that we're all narcissistic or anything, um, but we do science and we keep fighting against all the odds trying to stop us because not only are we learning about the universe, but you guys are along for the ride and you're helping us uh, in every way possible and we can't say thank you enough. Um, so thank you for building a community that we are proud to get to nurture and grow. And there is mad typing Sorry. going on. Uh, I, I promised uh, one of our, our, our forum users like a while ago to get back to him to ask and just some questions about citizen science. He's doing a, a project about oh. it. And uh, uh, I, just to let him know, I'm so sorry. I have not gotten back to you sooner. The the last uh, couple months really have been crazy. And leading up to this hangout, uh, even crazier than usual. So um, 
yes, I will get back to you. And that was my frantic typing because I feel so bad for my email being so out of control and not getting back to people oh, as much as I'd like to. Um, so, yeah, that's that. My inbox is a crazy place. Not as crazy as hers, but uh, still pretty crazy. <laughs> Mine is terrifying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have um, Emily ready to join us, Emily Lakdawalla. Uh, and I think we are going to have Kevin Grazier and Kiki Sanford as well. So uh, they should be setting up in the green room. Uh, we'll be talking about communicating science a bit with them in a few minutes. Uh, hang on. I'm going to have to get that set up. So, Oh, my goodness. All the food. It is boyfriend with food. <laughs> Thank you. This is Pamela. This is the, this is the infamous drunken rice. <laughs> I have a crab rangoon. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. In, and uh, Tim just walked in with an Ionath Kraken shirt, so that's um, the <laughs> main team in Sigler's uh, Galactic Football League series. So <laughs> we're all all big Sigler fans here. Yeah. We have food. Although okay. some of us have more nightmares than others. Apparently. Uh, I'm going to uh, send the invites. Oh, come on, button click. Uh, where we get Emily. And... Oops. Uh, I don't know if I have Kevin. Come on. No, I don't know which one that is. All right, so I can send Emily because I know she's in there. Um, let me send the link to Michael. What do you do, do? So, oh, I heard somebody. Yeah. Oh, that was you. Uh, <laughs> I just uh, like to thank you guys for what you guys do. Uh, oh, uh, thank you. Honestly, uh, I've been watching you guys uh, for a while. Uh, you haven't noticed me because I've been behind you, and I'm a ninja. Uh, but uh, the... Uh, <laughs> it's okay, we like ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right behind you. I'm that teddy bear right there. <laughs> <laughs> you only have one arm. I hope you know that. Yes. <laughs> but no, uh, I really do uh, admire what you guys do. Uh, it's really uh, uh, informative broadcast that you guys do, and uh, you're able to inspire me uh, to get as far as I have uh, with uh, what I've done. So uh, we love like to, to hear thank that. you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the moon and Saturn images as well. We really appreciate it, and if you don't move fast enough, we will suck you into joining the virtual star party on Sunday evenings. <laughs> Not a problem. Everyone <laughs> gets accreted. That's how it rolls. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.